Hi everyone, it's Debbie. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you're new here, I'm a reseller. I've been reselling for 17 years and I absolutely love it. I sell mainly on eBay and Poshmark. I've also dabbled a little bit in Macari, Amazon, ThreadUp, and Facebook Marketplace. And in today's video, I'm going to share 15 items that sold last week, which was November 7th through 13th, 2021. But before we get started, I need to announce the winner of this month's inventory giveaway. And I wanna tell all of you, thank you so much for the wonderful comments. I enjoyed reading them so much. And I feel like this group of people on this channel are just such special, wonderful people. And that was completely evidenced when I read the comments and just the things that you expressed that you were thankful for and just the kindness that you show. Oh my goodness, it was just so wonderful to read. So thank you to all of you. And if you didn't win this month, be sure you come back next month because I will have an inventory giveaway every month on the 15th for as long as I'm on this channel because you guys are so wonderful and I, and I wanna do something to give back to all of you. So let's break right here and I will show you who won. I said that I would use a random YouTube picker on Wednesday morning at 9 a.m. Central Time. So we will insert the clip now. Okay, so on Wednesday morning at 8.59 a.m., I went to the random YouTube comment picker, put the video in filtered by the word thankful. So if you put the word thankful in the comments, you were entered to win. I excluded my name, of course, so that I could not come up as the winner. And I am just waiting for the clock to turn to nine o'clock. It is amazing how my heart just starts racing when I do these giveaways, when I'm waiting for the clock to turn. I feel like I am at the start of a race line. So it is just about to turn and... Congratulations, Ingrid. Yay, so congratulations to Ingrid Bolton. I hope that these items do really well for you. And if you can email me at love2shop242gmail.com and let me know where you would like me to mail your box of inventory, I will get it right out to you. So congratulations again. Well, now we will start with the what sold portion of the video. I sold 20 items last week for a gross amount of $578.15. And as always, if you want my complete breakdown of numbers, stick around till the end and I will have all of that for you. So it was still pretty low, but it was quite a bit better from last week. But really where I want to land right now, if I'm putting in about 10 to 15 hours a week, I'm a lot more comfortable with around $1,000 gross sales. So I will just keep working to getting those numbers up there. I sold the most items on Poshmark. It was pretty close, but the most items were on Poshmark, 12 items for $321. The first item was a Terry Lewis Classic Luxuries leather zip-up jacket. And it was so pretty. It had soft leather. It was green with fringe detail and it sold for $32. My earnings were $23.14. I paid $5.75 at a regular Goodwill. It took six months to sell and my earnings were $17.39. I got really nice feedback on it. The person said she bought it for her daughter, that it was clean, no odor, soft leather, and she said thank you and that she would continue to shop with me. And I have found on Poshmark, I have had a lot of customers that come back. So it is really good to make sure you sell and send items that are great quality. And I have found a lot of loyal customers on Poshmark. The next item I got at the Goodwill bins, I'm not even sure how to pronounce this. It's like La Malinche woven blanket. And I just put the name on the tag in. I found others like it. And then I took keywords from other listings that had sold that were like mine to create the listing to make sure I had the correct wording in it. It sold for $17. My earnings were $11.14. I paid just $1 at the Goodwill bins and it took 54 days to sell. My profit was $10.14. This next one, 
I also got at the Goodwill bins the brand new Ann Taylor sweater dresses where I found four of them brand new with tags at the bins. Well, I thought I'd share with you that the third one sold. So two have sold on eBay now and one on Poshmark. This one sold for $33. My earnings were $23.94. I paid just a dollar at the Goodwill bins 82 days ago and my profit is $22.94. So three of them have sold. So just those three items alone have paid for my entire haul that day so I love that the next one is a vintage juicy couture black floor hoodie jacket size medium made in the USA and I got this on a haul on the haul where I had all the vintage coats and jackets and then I found a couple more juicy zip up jackets and the first one was like purple and it had all this wording on the back and it sold right away for a great amount this one has hung around for eight months and five days, and it had quite a few likes, at 26 likes, but just nobody would accept offers, so I've just reduced it a little bit, and I've started sending lower and lower offers. Well, finally, it sold for $19. My earnings were $15.20. I paid $5.35 for it, and my profit was only $9.85, but I'm still happy with that. It's not as much as some of the other juicy items that I got, but it's still great. Then the next one was a Mirage Outerwear Fox Fur Coat. And this one did not have a size on it, so I just put it on my mannequin and I, and I said that I thought it fit like a medium or maybe a large. Please refer to the measurements for a proper fit. I also said the outside was really nice, but the interior did have a little bit of staining on it. And I had it listed and then the other day I noticed I had it as not for sale but I still had it so I'm not quite sure how I did that so I remarked it for sale and it sold like that within just a couple days and it sold for $50 my earnings were $32.55 I paid $3 at the Goodwill bins and my profit was $29.55 and I've said this before I wouldn't buy a fur and go out and buy it and it is already an item that is in existence I would rather see it repurposed and someone have it then just let it go to the landfill so i feel i feel good about that the next item was from a thread up shoe box and these were a pair of timberland boots and these i guess i just priced them too high i was looking back on that thread up box it was box number two and out of that entire box it was 15 pairs of shoes i've sold 10 donated one and i have just four left to sell I've had gross sales of $344.99. I've received back $279.11. If you take out my cost of goods of $94.84, my profit on that box so far is $184.27 in five months. So I am really happy with that box. If you have not seen that video, that is a video where I go through and I show my entire process. I show, I show the cleaning and the entire list so right now I'm doing a series where I'm breaking down the different parts and showing a little more detail that one though I go through start to finish so if you're interested in seeing that a lot of people ask me for videos where I'm listing so that might be one that you're interested in going back and watching so this one went for a little less I wanted to be able to sell this one for 40 it just didn't get very much attention and so I finally sent out I finally I finally received an offer of $25, so I thought, that's a good profit, I will take it. My earnings were $20, I paid $6.77, and my profit was $13.23, so I'm happy. I took a little video clip while I was shipping these boots because people often ask me how I ship boots, and on this pair, I just wrapped each boot individually with a piece of craft paper. I like to wrap them individually so they do not rub against each other. I also stuff the inside of them with a piece of craft paper. That way, the shape stays really nice, and then after I have them each wrapped individually, I just secure them with a cute Cute little sticker and then you can see in the background that I'm using a large flat rate priority box and on Poshmark you can use any of the priority boxes even if they are labeled as 
flat, right? And I tried to put it in a Tyvex envelope to give it a little bit of weather protection, but it didn't quite fit. And I didn't really want to use one of my huge poly mailers. So what I do sometimes is I look up their zip code and see if there is any rain or snow expected in the area in the next few days. And there was not any, it was dry. So I decided that this would be fine. I did not need any type of plastic or Tyvex covering to protect it from weather. So I just used the craft paper on it and then I stuck them in the box and they fit just perfectly. When a boot is taller and it doesn't fit perfectly, I usually pick up a bigger box at Walmart or my local box store and then I just seal it up and I have my USPS postal carrier pick up my packages from my door so I just put it in a plastic container outside and they will pick up my packages for me and I have a ring video camera outside so I can see when they pick up my packages also which is really convenient if you do not have a carrier pickup I explain exactly step by step how to request the carrier pickup on my how to ship video and my package is ready to go and that is it. The next one was a free people item. I got it from Fox Liquidation. That's where I buy all of my liquidation items from. And this is an example of one that was pretty expensive and I have had such a hard time selling it. I had it the entire winter last year and then going into this year, I still had one left. I think I had about six or seven and none of them sold for a great amount. Each of them cost $37.62 and on most of them, I only profited about 10 to $15. Well, this was the last one and someone started sending me really low offers for like $20 and I kept on coming back with a higher amount. Finally, they sent an offer for $52 and I was like, you know what? I would like to just be finished with these sweaters. These have not been the best. So I went ahead and accepted it. My earnings were $41.60. I paid $37.62, so my profit was only $4.02. However, I got my cost of goods back, so I ended up with $41 back, so I am great with that. And in that liquidation order, I had some items that sold for amazing amounts. They were jackets and coats and sweaters that sold for really high. So even if I had lost money on this, overall, I would have done great. So that's okay, and that's part of liquidation. Sometimes some items don't sell as well, but still made a profit. I've never lost money on one of my liquidation items. And then another example of, I purchased a lot of Free People Intimates and these just trickle out all the time. I had a bundle of three Free People bras. They were all one size. So that's a nice thing about having a lot of them. People can bundle them in their sizes. They sold for $42. My earnings were $31.14. I paid $10.77 combined. Each of them were $3.59. Had these for one year and three months. They trickle out all the time. And my profit on that bundle was $20.37. So I'm really happy about that. Then we will move on to eBay. I really like some of my sales on eBay this week. I sold eight items for $216.29. The first item was a vintage Anthony's 1980s multicolor sweater. I picked this up at the bins and I just thought it was so cool. And so I remembered Anthony's, a store from when I was a little kid and they have closed down. And I put that in my listing. I put I put that Anthony's was a store that was founded in Oklahoma in 1922 and it closed in 1997. And I just think when I'm researching items, if I find out some of those cool facts, I like putting them in the listing because I thought buyer might enjoy learning that. It sold for $32.01. My earnings were $13.64. I paid $1.10 at the Goodwill bins three months and three days ago and my profit was $12.54. The next one came from my haul that I've been working on to show my process from start to finish. This was the vintage 90s J. Crew 100% lamb's wool sweater. It was ribbed, textured, thick, beige, gray, size extra large, and I did put on there that it was a one of the first J. Crew tags, and that I learned the information about the tag from fashionguild.com, so they could look at that and verify that that was one of the early tags. It sold for $65. My earnings were $47. I paid $6.19 at the regular Goodwill in Moore, Oklahoma. It only took six days to sell. 
my profit was $40.81. The next one was also from that haul. This was the Sundance Catalog Yellow Crew Neck Thermal Top with velvet trim cuff, button cuffs in size medium. And it was interesting, I was showing my husband, I said, you see this? This really doesn't look like much. And the tag doesn't even look like much, I bet. But the brand, this is a great brand. And I had told him, I learned this brand from other people that make YouTube videos and they've said this is a good brand. So I only knew it because of watching what sold videos. And it sold 24 hours after listing it. It sold for $32.33. My earnings were $25.95. I paid $6.19 at the regular Goodwill. And it took one day to sell exactly 24 hours and 10 minutes. I looked at the time on the emails and my profit was $19.76. The next one, this one was kind of neat. I found an old vintage perfume bottle and I thought it was just really cool. And I and I picked up several lotions also and the lotion sold for $110 for two bottles. And then this perfume bottle was not as great, but it finally sold. I have had it for one year, nine months and 13 days. It's something like Nina Ritchie, Nina Ritchie and a lot of the listings say two doves on it. It sold for $24.50. 58 cents. My earnings were $12.27. I paid $1 at the regular Goodwill. And if you send perfumes, you have to be sure and send them parcel post, not priority. They cannot go air. They have to go ground. So I also write on the package ground only perfume enclosed just so that I disclose what's in there because you can't send those things air. So if you sell perfume, be sure that you send it ground. And the last one that I'm going to share today was one from my Goodwill haul where I took my son Jason, had him pick out things for me to resell. And I went back and looked at what we purchased that day. Everything has sold now, except for just one item, a pair of North Face shorts, but everything else has sold. This was the BKE Gimmicks Buckle Wash Beaded Sweater Vest in size medium. It sold for $16.62. My earnings were $9.76. I paid $4.24 six months ago, and my profit was $5.52. So this was one that wasn't one of the highest sellers, but still made a profit, and I feel like we did a great job on that haul, and to have everything sold but one thing in six months, I think is great. And now to go over my numbers, I sold a total of 20 items, 10 of them were thrifted, nine liquidation, and one retail arbitrage. My gross sales were $578.15. Money back was $384.27. My total cost of goods was $115.50. And my profit was $268.77. On Poshmark, 12 items for $321. After fees, $249.22. Cost of goods, $85. $5.49 and my profit was $163.73. eBay was eight items for a gross amount of $216.29. After fees and postage, I received back $135.05. My cost of goods was only $30.01 and my profit was $105.04. That is everything from this week. Thank you so much if you are still here watching. I appreciate all of you so much and I hope everybody has a great week. Thank you, bye.